You know, typically in putting, obviously the most important thing is aim because you can have a perfect stroke and if you're aiming incorrectly, you're gonna miss putts. It's that simple. The goal is to read a green and then the goal is to get a specific spot in which you wanna hit the putt. A lot of short putts, we're focused on getting the club face dead square. Long putts, we're gonna get the face square to a specific line that we want the ball to start on. And what I love is, the first thing is, the alignment of the club face is number one. Number two would be the alignment of the shoulders. The feet, I've seen people stand open with their feet. I've seen people stand closed. I've seen people get really wide. I've seen people get really narrow. The single most important thing is where the club face is aimed. Aimed in the address and where it is aimed at impact. I've seen so many strokes that do different things from outside in to inside out and the face is always the critical element. Where is it an impact relative to that? So the first thing in, in terms of getting things right for aim is the club face. The second thing is getting your eyes to where they're also aiming correctly. You don't want your eyes to the right or to the left. And what, a lot of times I'll take the club, I'll use these pro rods too, and I'll put them up and I'll just go, hey, my eyes are now parallel and they're actually, in my case, just slightly inside the ball. And from here, I know that I'm in a pretty good position to kind of get the line right in my mind. The, the last thing of alignment is to get the shoulders to feel like they're very, very much parallel to the target line. You know, you don't want to set up with your open shoulders or closed shoulders. And yes, you can go a little bit right, you can go a little bit left depending on, on your tendencies, but most, most importantly are getting those three lines right. The next thing we're going to get into is a grip. Now there are a lot of different grips you see on tour. Jordan Spieth, he has got his left hand lower. Freddie Couples putts like this with a left hand lower. You know, you're still seeing people that grip it, you know, some grip it in the fingers. Brad Faxon was one of the greatest putters ever. He gripped it very strong in the left hand in the fingers. And that also helped promote more of an open to close motion and more of an arc motion. You know, a lot of great putters put the club into the base of the palm of the left hand, where this is acting almost as a wall. Jack Nicklaus used to putt like this. He'd stick it right up into the base of the hand and he'd put his right hand underneath and he'd actually putt with his right hand like a piston where the palm would move to the target. I think most importantly is to get the palms facing each other in some fashion. Where you put your fingers is irrelevant. I mean, there's people that take the right hand and put it on and they almost have a pistol-like left hand where they'll go like this. Some will put it down the shaft. Again, I've seen this. You see the claw. What's the claw? Left hand is in the palm. Right hand taking index finger, resting it right in the base between the thumb and the index finger. And they're making their right arm move this way. You know, it's whatever works. And you've got to get on the putting green to try to find those things out. Or the grip is totally a very personal thing. And again, if you can be consistent with your club face at impact, we're on our way to putting better. That's really what it's about. Mm -hmm.